Drawing this geometry glow poly during Procreate is easier than you think. And now I'll take you through all the steps so you can draw it too even if you are a beginner in digital art. For this drawing you need my free stipple brush from my ink and stippling brush set. It is linked in the description of this video. If you enjoyed this video and would like to draw more of me, check out my Patreon where I have more step-by-step -step tutorials like this and Procreate brushes. Link is in the description. And now with all that being said, grab your drawing tools and let's start. Let's make a new canvas, A4 canvas from Procreate. And first we can import here our picture of the deer. So let's go to the actions menu, go to add, and pick here insert the photo, and then pick your photo. Let's make it bigger so it will fit the canvas. Ok, and when you finish tap here. We are going to use your symmetry tool. So let's turn it on. Let's go to the actions menu, go to canvas, and turn on drawing guide. Now let's tap on edit drawing guide. And here at the bottom let's pick symmetry. And in the options, make sure vertical is selected. Let's tap on done. And now you can see the symmetry line here. This deer is not very symmetrical. So we have to, let's say, assume that the nose is symmetrical. And we have to move now this picture. So the line will be going exactly in the middle of his nose. So let's take the arrow tool now. And we can move this. So that line will be in the middle of the nose. Ok, let's tap here to finish. And now on the new layer we can start tracing this. First we are going to turn on the visibility of this layer. To do that let's open the layers. Let's tap on this end here. And turn on the opacity here. I'll make it 51%. Now we can make a new layer to start drawing this. And now we want to draw here with the symmetry tool, so we have to turn it on. Let's tap on this layer and pick here Drawing Assist. Let's pick the color. Let's pick dark grey color. Somewhere around here. And now let's pick the brush. Let's go to Calligraphy and take Monoline Brush. Let's make the brush size here 11. And let's start outlining with the nose. We can draw here a quick shape, just draw it like that. Hold your pencil here and you can tap here on this and change it to Quadriteller. Now we have all those points you can edit. When you finish, tap on the screen with your finger. Let's draw here a small triangle, like that. Now let's draw here the bottom part of his mouth. We want to have all the lines straight. Now let's outline this shape here around his nose, like that. We can connect now these corners here. Now let's draw a line going in the middle of his head, from the top of his nose, over here, like that, and same here. Let's outline his eye now. So I'll draw a shape like this. I'll tap here to edit this, and now I have polyline, and I can just adjust this point. So it will touch nice here the other point. Now we can draw here a line on the side of his head. So we can have the whole shape here now. So it might take a little bit of time if you want to do it really nice and precisely. But I find it actually kind of relaxing. Just going around this shape and enjoying the process. So I hope you also have fun with this.
Now maybe let's connect with a straight line this point with this point. Now we can divide this triangle into two triangles like this. Now let's connect this point here with the eye. And now those two here. Now let's add a triangle here like this. Adding this line here. And connect it here with the eye with another straight line. Now let's divide this into smaller portions. Like that. Let's add here one more triangle. And now let's connect those points here. Now these two here. And now let's divide this part into smaller shapes. And here let's add a triangle. Maybe let's still divide this into triangles. Like that. We can now maybe color the eyes and the nose. Let's just drag and drop the color in here. Let's draw now the ear. So let's start here with the line like that. We can connect it over here. Make a triangle here. Now one small triangle here. And now let's draw this bigger shape. And here I will just connect this point with this. Now let's draw the antlers. And here I'm looking at this picture and I like this side more than this one. And I will also get rid of this shape. I want to simplify this. So I'm going to draw here a big line like this. Now I'll connect this here. And I'll just go along this shape. So here I'll just make a small space that it's actually not there, but I'll just add it to add this last part of the antlers like this. Now it's divided into smaller shapes. I'll start here with drawing a triangle over here. Like that. Now I'll connect this here. Now a shape here. Over here. And here I'll just divide it into triangles. We can connect now this part with this one. Add here triangles. Here it's connected like that. And let's divide this now into big triangles. So the antlers are ready. Now let's just do the neck. Very simple. So let's start here. Make a straight line. Now let's go this way. And let's close it here like that. Let's divide it into shapes. Let's start with the big one over here. And now these parts we can divide into triangles. Let's connect it to those points here. And the last one over here. We can now turn off the picture. So let's go here and just turn it off. And this is how it looks. Now before we start filling this with the color, let's add here a paper texture. Let's go to the actions menu. Go to add. And pick insert a file or insert a photo. 
and bring in the paper texture. I'm going to use paper texture number 2 from my ink and stippling brush set, but if you don't have it, you can use any of my other free paper textures. We have to move this under the layer where we're drawing on, so let's move it like that. And now to make this look nicer, and so that we can see that paper texture through the color of the ink here, we are going to change the burning mode of this. So let's tap here and let's set this to linear burn. Now if you zoom in, you can see that paper texture is visible. Let's start stippling. We'll do it on a new layer. Let's make that layer. Let's also set it to linear burn. And let's move this under the layer with the line art. So over here. Let's pick here our stippling brush. And we are going to add this one by one in each element. So we have to select those elements to be able to draw only in those areas. First, we also want to have this set to drawing assist. So everything we do on one side will be already on the other side too. Now let's select the areas that we want to color. So let's go to the layer the outline and let's take the selection tool. At the bottom let's pick automatic and let's turn off color fill. Let's start selecting the areas. I want to color this part and this part. I'll add multiple selections so we can do it faster. So I will be selecting the areas that will be close to each other where I want to have kind of the same shading. You will see in a moment what I'm talking about. I will select this one and this one and this one and this one. Now maybe these two and these. And maybe let's color this first before we select any more. So now this is selected. Let's go back to our new layer here, this one. And also I want to give you a little tip. If you want to see your selection better and more visible, you can go to the actions menu, go to preferences, and here you can change selection mask visibility. So if you want, you can have it visible like this, if it's easier for you to see it. I'll keep this here around 40%. So now let's pick the size of our stipple brush. My size will be 13. And I will start adding this here. So I'm making it here darker at this point. And also at the same time over here. Now I'll darken this corner. And this one. Like that. And now let's take a small break and I would like to ask you to write a comment with word animal. It would mean a lot to me, it would show me that you enjoyed this video and it would be very nice to see who's watching me. So thank you for writing a comment. And now let's go back to drawing. We have this selected. I want those corners to be darker. And that's it for this selection. Now we can tap here to finish this and we'll do it again and again until everything is done. So let's go back to the outline layer, take the selection tool. So I will select these shapes and now all of this here at the bottom, maybe these two. And that's enough. Let's go to the other layer and start coloring this. Let's add this here at the top part like this. Now here, over there. And here we can add it in the middle, like this. Let's stop here to finish. And let's make a new selection. We are going to keep here some parts without the color, like around the eyes and those parts on the ears, to make them pop more. So let's go back to the outline. Take the selection. I will select now these triangles. Maybe these two those two parts on the antlers and those two on the neck. Let's go to the other layer and just add this here now at the bottom. Here maybe on this side. Now here. And on the antler over here. Let's tap here to finish and let's keep going. 
go back to the outline layer, take the selection. I'm going to select those two small triangles by the ears. And now these two, this and this also, and maybe these two. Let's go to the other layer and add the color. Now I'll add it here at the top part, like that. Here I can add it over here and here on the ear part. I'll just do it, I'll try to do it here at the bottom part. Okay, let's keep going. Back to the outline layer, take the selection tool. I will select now those triangles on the neck, all of them. And now on the antlers I'll take this, maybe this one also. And that's it, let's go to the other layer and start adding this. So here I'll make a point like in the middle, like that. And here on the neck I will color the bottom parts of this, but actually I don't want this to be selected. So I'll just color it now and then I'll just erase it in a moment. And here I will color those corners. I will take the eraser now, I'll set it to monoline brush, make it 100% and I'll just erase my mistake here. I don't want this to be colored this way. Okay, let's go back to the outline layer. Now I will select this triangle and those triangles here on the antlers. Let's maybe also select these two big ones and let's color this. I'll start here, I'll take the brush and I'll add this here at the top. And here I'll add it in those corners. Over here, I'll add it here. Okay, let's tap here to finish. And let's keep selecting. Go back to the outline, take the selection. I will select now those two. And maybe these two also. Okay, I'll go to the other layer. Color this here like that. And this over here. Finish the selection and do it again. Now I'm going to select these two, maybe here, this and this, and this like that. Okay, I'll go to the other layer and color this. So I will add this here on this side. Here I'll add it over here and here in the corners. And we're almost done, let's do a few more selections. Okay, go to the other layer and color this. Maybe I will actually color now this one from this side. And here I'll color this in the middle. Okay, let's do it again. These two now. Go to the other layer, color this. And this got unselected. So I'll do it again. And I'm going to leave those two empty. I still want to add some shading in his nostrils and under his nose. I will select them. Go to the other layer. And just add it here like that. Okay, now I'll just turn off this symmetry line. So I'll go to Canvas and just turn off the drawing guide. 
And now this illustration is finished. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can share your drawing with me on my Instagram, I would love to see it. And if you'd like to draw more of me, don't forget to check out my Patreon, link is in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video, bye!